Okay then gang, so when Tailwind processes our source CSS file, it uses a default configuration to do that under the hood. Now this configuration dictates the values of properties controlled by different classes that we use in our HTML. For example, it would say that the text hyphen SM class would give a font size of 0.875 rems, or text XL would be a font size of 1.25 rems. It would also say things like the color red hyphen 500 should be a specific hex code, etc. So we can also create our own Tailwind config file to either extend those rules or to add extra classes for colors or fonts or spacing or anything else, or to change the current ones as well. So let's try creating a Tailwind config file to do this. So then to do this, I'm going to head back over here and open up a terminal. Now I need to open up a new terminal because this one is currently running the live server. So let me click on this plus icon to do that. Now to create a Tailwind config file, we need to say npx Tailwind CSS init. Now I'm going to pass through an extra flag as well. So double dash full and what this extra flag does is create us a config file with all of the default values that Tailwind uses under the hood included in it. Now I'm doing that so we can see them all to begin with. So let me press enter to do this and we'll notice now this tailwind.config.js file right here. Now when we use a Tailwind config it must be named in this exact way otherwise Tailwind won't use it. So if we click on that, we can see this giant object which is being exported and inside it, it contains all of the different values for our classes. So inside this theme object, if we scroll down, we see a colors property and you can see the different colors that we have. So we have gray here. And if we use a class inside our HTML, which says text hyphen gray hyphen 300, for example, then Tailwind will know to apply this hex code. All right. So right here, we're setting all of the different values for the different color strengths. The same for red, orange, yellow, green, all the different colors in Tailwind. We also have these values for spacing. So we can see two is 0.5 rem, six is 1.5 rem, etc. So when we say, for example, P hyphen two, it knows to apply a padding of 0.5 rems, right? Now, if we scroll down a bit more, we should come to the fonts down here, the font families, the font size, we've seen these. So when we say text hyphen SM, it knows to use this font size, text hyphen XL, this font size, etc. So if we wanted to, we could change these values right here. And then if we were to use that class, it would change how it looks dependent on the value that we pass through here. Because when we then use Tailwind to process our CSS, it will look for the values and match them up. OK, so if we wanted to, we could also add new properties. So say I want a mammoth font size, for example, I could say, OK, let's have mammoth equal to something like eight rems all right so if i save this now the first thing i need to do is reprocess our source styles.css because previously when we processed it it was doing that according to the default styles which didn't have this in now if i want to use this in my index.html file i need to reprocess the styles based on this new config now i don't need to do anything special tailwind is automatically going to look for this config file when it processes it now, it doesn't matter that there wasn't one there before. We never used to have this config file. When we don't have one, it just uses all of these default styles under the hood without this file even being there. But now we have one, it's going to look for it and it's going to apply all of these different values, including our new one. So let me now process this by saying npm run build hyphen CSS. Remember that was inside our package.json file right here. So this is how Tailwind runs through our CSS and processes it into the new one. So let's do that. And once we've done that, we should be able to go to our index file. And now we should be able to use that new text size. So I could say, for example, text hyphen mammoth now, oops, mammoth and it will be huge so save that and let's come over here and now we can see this huge text so that's how we extend these different values inside the config file now then you could change all of the values in here 
and you could add new values in here and that is going to alter how our designs look right but i wouldn't recommend changing values inside the default config setup if you do this it's hard to see what values you've actually changed and what new values you've added and therefore it's going to be tough to distinguish between the default values already there and your own so instead we should create a blank config file to extend the default rules and that way we're not altering the core values and it's easier to see which extra values we've added ourselves as well so what i'm going to do is actually rename this over here to tailwind hyphen default you can call it what you want it doesn't matter just rename it to something else and now we lose that tailwind icon because now this is not named correctly so if we built our styles now and process them using tailwind again then it wouldn't use this file it would use the default ones under the hood which is the same as this file but not with this in it right so now let's create a new blank config file and to do that we say npx tailwind css in it without the full flag and now it's going to create this blank config file for us right here so now we don't have all of those values in it so we know that now if we try to process this css it's going to look for a config file does that mean that we're not going to get any of the properties at all and nothing will work because there's nothing in here well no it still looks at all of the default values under the hood even though they're not in here and it applies those but now we can extend those inside this thing right here so we can add new ones all right so let's try doing that so say for example we wanted to add a new color to the palette that we use so let's see how the default config uses colors well it has a colors property and inside we have different properties for example black is this and white is this so we could just add a new color by coming over here and saying colors because we copy the structure of this thing right here and then inside the name of our color well i'm going to call it primary and then whatever the value is now i'm just going to give this a value which is a hex code of ff6363 now this is not a hex code i've just plucked out of thin hair this is the one i'm using in this design and it's a bit like a red color but they didn't have this shade of red in the default rules over here so i've created my own color right here called primary to get that color now say i also wanted to add a secondary color but i wanted to add two different shades of the secondary color well if we take a look we can say whatever the color is called and then inside that object declare different shades so i'm going to put a comma after this primary and i'm just going to paste this in secondary which is an object and then we have a strength of 100 and 200 and these are two different shades of the same color so this is a lighter one this is a darker one okay so what if we want to use these colors now for backgrounds or text inside our index.html file well first of all we can save this then we need to rebuild the css so to do that we can come down here and say npm run build css so every time we change the config or the styles file we need to do this remember press enter to rebuild that and once we've rebuilt it we can go over here and we can use those styles so i'm going to scroll down to where we have the two buttons for logging in and signing up and i'm going to say i want the text to be the primary color so i can now say class is equal oops not in capitals class is equal to text hyphen primary so that's that red color and i'm going to do the same for the sign up so copy that and paste it right there save it and now we can see it's this kind of ready pink color awesome so what if i want to use the other color for text down here let's say for example on this one now i want to use a background color of this one right here strength 100 and a text color of this one so i'm going to come to this div and i'm going to give this a class equal to something and this is going to say bg hyphen secondary hyphen 100 so this is how we apply background color we say bg then the color then the strength so it's going to be this one right here now for the text color i want it to be the other so text hyphen secondary hyphen 200 
save that and if we come to the bottom we should see that down here awesome so my friends that's how we can use this config file to extend the theme that tailwind uses to add different classes with different values now there's one more thing i want to show you and that is actually a package i've got installed for tailwind it's called tailwind css intellisense now it's actually not installed so i'm just going to do that right here by clicking install and then you might have to restart vs code so i'm just going to close it and then i'm going to open it up again for this to take effect and now when we come into the place where we add different classes if we start to add a new class then we can see everything that tailwind provides us with all the different classes available to us so if i say for example text hyphen we can see all of these different things right here so it's just a nice bit of intellisense now in order to use this we have to have our config file defined so if this wasn't here if we didn't have a config file then it wouldn't show all of these different drop down options that's my experience with it anyway so now we know how to customize tailwind classes let's dive a bit deeper by adding our own custom fonts as well